welcome to the Stations of the Cross. At each station, we will start with a prayer from St. Francis and a description of the station. Then a question and a cue saying to pray the Our Father, Hail Mary and Glory Be to the Father will appear on the screen. At this point, please pause the video to reflect and pray. Now, let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Suffering Servant, Lord Jesus Christ, prepare us to reflect on your journey. Through your suffering on the cross, you have given us salvation. Let us remember the toils that you endured for our sake, Lord, and give us the strength to follow you for the rest of our days. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Innocent, Jesus falls victim to the political machinations of his enemies and the self-interest and lack of compassion of those in power. His fate is sealed as Pilate washes his hands of him, betrayed by friends and enemies alike. This will be no quick execution, but rather a torturous, cruel, agonising death. Who are the innocent in our world who have been publicly shamed and stripped of their dignity as human beings by those in power? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Jesus physically takes up the cross laid on him the heavy wood weighing him down, but perhaps the more painful cross is the burden of disappointment, anguish and betrayal. What crosses have we imposed on others and ourselves? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When Jesus falls to his knees, it can hardly be a fall from grace. Since he is already a figure of ridicule, his predicament on display for all to see. But this stumble reminds us that Jesus is fully human, vulnerable and heartbroken. When we are brought to our knees by the vagaries and burdens of life, how do we respond? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The anguish that Mary, the mother, must feel as she stands by watching helplessly the degradation and torture of her beloved son is as another sword piercing her heart. Knowing what is still to come for her child must have brought her agonizing gut-wrenching pain. How do we deal with and respond to the pain of those we love? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Simon is a bystander watching the ugly scene passing by him, but suddenly, and probably reluctantly, he is catapulted into the centre of the drama. He shoulders the burden for Jesus, for a short time anyway, and perhaps also carries Jesus. When have you stood by watching someone being subjected to violence or public disgrace? torn between wanting to help 
and wanting to keep out of it. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. What courage this woman shows by boldly stepping into the midst of the violence to give comfort to the tortured Jesus, uncaring of the consequences for herself. Who are those for whom we could be stepping into the breach to give comfort, solidarity, soothing balm? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. This long and agonizing journey to Golgotha, coupled with his torture, is weakening Jesus, and for a second time he collapses under the weight of his heavy burden. Who are the people in our world that we perhaps unknowingly bring to their knees? burdening them with our greed, consumerism, and gluttony. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Perhaps the women are there because, as was the custom, they are professional mourners wailing and moaning at the suffering of Jesus. He gives them a warning that their mourning will soon become very personal, that this violence will soon spill over and engulf them and their children. Maybe mourning is not enough. For whom do we weep, but do nothing to lift their burden? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Jesus is almost spent, his energy seeping out of his wounds with his blood. Death is not far away as he falls down in the shadow of the cross. When we are heavy burdened, what helps us get up again and again, pushing through our exhaustion and pain? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. There is more indignity and agony for Jesus to endure before his suffering is over. So his clothing is stripped from him and others fight to own it for themselves. When have we felt naked and exposed to the world's scrutiny? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Jesus, weakened and almost spent, endures his final agony as the torturers carry out the cruel blows of his execution, keeping those who loved him at a distance. How is the body of Christ in our world today, tortured and executed? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. At last, the agony is over for Jesus, but not for his mother, his friends, those who looked on from a distance. Violence, once seen, can never be unseen, playing over and over in their minds. How are we people who work for peace and actively promote non-violence in our world?
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The broken body of Jesus, no longer public property, is finally given over to those who love him. How do we honour those who have gone before us, reverencing their story and their presence among us? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The body of Jesus lays in a borrowed tomb, hastily placed there before Sabbath begins, with no time for honouring him or performing the burial rites. Fear of infection in this time of pandemic has us hastily disposing of bodies wrapped in plastic for the greater good. How are we finding a balance between honouring the dead and protecting the living? Thank you for joining us for the Stations of the Cross. We will now conclude with a final prayer. Humble King on Calvary, we have contemplated your agonising death on the cross. Impress faith, hope and charity and repentance on our hearts. Let us accept the way of the cross and give us salvation and eternal life. O oh Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.